Hey guys and girls, well we're just doing a little review of a charger here. This is a Chinese made battery charger, hence all the Chinese writing on it. Made by a company called Mega. It's a nice charger, don't get me wrong, it looks good. You've got nice uh, amps, you know, your thing that says worn on it, you know, it's quite cool. You've got it charging up a uh, nice big battery here. The battery's not that flat, it's just been stored for a while. It's, uh, it's got a nice dodgy power switch on the back. Sometimes when you turn it off, it's still, it's still turned on. It's, uh, you know, nice and dodgy. There you go. Oh, there you go. But yeah, it's got a nice dodgy switch on there, which doesn't work properly. And we've also found that if, uh, if you touch one of these leads and touch a ground, or you've got no shoes on like me and you're touching the floor, it gives you a right shock. And uh, you'll see here, we've got this cable here, which is leading up here to the earthing pin of a standard plug socket, home outlet plug socket. So that's running down here. And my brother's there, look, as you can see, he's just touching that probe for the tester on it. Now, if you kindly just touch that on the edge of that probe there, that's nice, yeah, put it there. And what the hell's this pin in here then? What the hell, that's 103 volts it's chucking out there. Let's do it on the positive side and see what happens. Oh dear me, that's, that's not very nice, is it? It's no wonder we're getting electric shocks off this thing, is it? Found out the hard way. Found out the hard way, yeah. Don't... What's the case do, anyway? Yeah, what's, what's the case like? Yeah, touch it on one of the... Can you get anything from that? 54 volt, 56 volts we're getting from the case. It's still a nice amount, really, <laughs> isn't it, that? <laughs> oh, and of course, this is just a standard twin cable. There's no earthing in this as well, so... Got the US plug on the it's end. got the US plug on the end as well, plugged into a suicide plug converter, which are the, uh, mind the mess, but it's one of those things there. Nice charger because it gives out a lot of amps. Gives out a lot of amps. Lightweight, but, but man, it could do with redesigning internally a, a yes. little bit. It'd be nice if it didn't shock you. Yeah. Because if you had this on your car or on a caravan or yes. God knows what, everything in the caravan, if Would it's be... exposed with either live or neutral, well. Yeah. Uh, negative or positive, should I say? Yeah, it will shock you. So, if put it this way, guys, if you were on working on your car, or you were doing something in your car, and you had this charger hooked up to your car, you went and touched the door handle of your car if it was a metal door handle, and say you were you weren't wearing particularly very thick so uh, soled shoes or something, you or it get was it, wet outside. Or it was wet outside. You get a lovely shock. You'd have 103 volts flow through you. I was standing on the concrete floor in the garage and it still gave me a pretty bad belt in. <laughs> that was cro with Crocs on. Mm. Sorry about that. The battery went flat on the camera. Yep, so yeah. So we just thought of some rather funny situations where you could be, you know, using this. Say you had a caravan and you wired it into your caravan. You know, as a booster. So you sat there Which on your caravan. the main reason I brought this. Yeah, the main reason we brought this actually was to, was to run it and bolt it to the floor of the caravan. It's 30 amps, it's good output you know, to reuse on the leisure battery, which we've got what we've got here. So we thought to ourselves, yeah, that's, you know, quite nice, all well and good, but, uh, so you go and jump in the shower, you know, caravan's got a shower in it, if it's got one, or, you know, you put your tap on a summit. The plug is earthed, of course. Of course, yeah, the drain. the drain system's all earthed. So you go and jump in your shower, well, bloody hell, it's a bit tingly in there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm you know, quite sure it would be. Can you imagine that situation then? So you, you just filled the sink up, you were uh, <laughs> washing your private bits in there if you're a bloke or something. Bloody hell, that'll make you jump a bit, won't it? Absolutely. <laughs> and don't forget, every tap in a caravan is micro switched. It's micro switched as well, so it's giving you a, you know, a, a 12 volt supply, but it's not 12 volts. It's, 100 it's 103 volts because <laughs> this guy's running at the moment, so yeah. I mean, if you switch him over to DC, just do that like that, and we check the output. It's uh, 
Right, what is the voltage kicking out? So at the it's moment well it is kicking out. A pretty good voltage really. It's pretty good for charging. It's a little high but it's good for charging. It's on high current mode. So that all seems normal but of course... Yeah, when you have it on an AC mode it's a bit naughty really. AC and on the ground, I mean... Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if we got quite a high reading just touching the carpet because it did give me quite a belting. <laughs> so let's just touch that and then the carpet. 60! Oh, there we go, 68 yeah. volts, 70 volts. Seven, yeah. And that's just, the probe is just chucked it into the carpet like that, look. Yep. There's 70 volts there. And what happens if you touch some of that? Depends on what you touch, really. But, yeah. 100 volts. And the probe is literally just being put into the floor. There you go, a nice 80 volts. A nice 80 volts for you guys. So you imagine, right, then, and if you were... that little surface area there. Yeah, of that probe. foot on yeah. the floor instead. <laughs> if you imagine, also, say you had this running, and you, you, know, and you did t touch something, like a computer case or something, that is physically earthed. I bet it would give you such a belt, you know. I mean, that's equivalent to the American voltage, that. Yeah. You know, that's what, you know, the voltage what Americans use. Now, does it do it when it's in float charge mode? I've turned the amps right down on this. It's variable amperage, which is really nice. One of the reasons I brought it. Anyway. So, do we still get the same problem? 30 volts now. You know, 14 volts are going through, 12 volts. Oh, the uh, the earth cable's not plugged in anymore. Oh, right. So if you just don't... Probably is still chucking out 100 volts then, isn't Let it? Earth, that earth cable. Coming back on again. Right, is that back in? Right, it's earth. Right, so we'll get a good contact on that first. So we'll see 100. And there's our yeah, good friend 100. 100 volts, yeah. Here's Mr. Float. Oh, Again. isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> so just while it's plugged in, not really doing anything, it's doing 100 volts. Yeah, that's just, uh, just, well, you can't really disconnect it, can you? Yeah, you got to be very careful when you disconnect this, because as you can imagine, you touch... You, you do touch any part of the metal here, it will give it you, will quite, give a you quite a nasty shock. The only thing that doesn't shock you is the case. But, uh, but then the, the case still gives out a lovely nice voltage. We've also found that when you turn the current up a bit, if you could just get the camera closer to this, see if you can get any sound from it. You get a lovely sound when you turn the current up. Mm. We'll pop that off. I have to reconnect this again, otherwise it won't. Let's in. try and get the sound of it. You get a lovely sizzling sound, like you've got a nice burger on the grill. Yes. This is 10 amps. Look at that. Sounds like good. What's that? <laughs> sounds like arcing. Sounds like, yeah, it sounds like some electrical connectors inside aren't happy. We might get a better sound at the front. Yeah. We'll turn down the amp. As you can see, this isn't actually adjusting the amps that much because the battery's already quite charged. It's just the noise it won't take anymore, but regardless of whether it's got higher current going into it or not, depending on where the position of that control is, it makes that lovely noise. Mm. So, uh, and because it's Chinese, it's going to have all lovely Chinese components inside there, which are probably going to last five minutes. Oh, yes. Uh, funny enough, I've got another thing on the go here, a little t television, it's, it's full of Chinese made capacitors unbranded things and they all need replacing as you can see they're all bulged quite nicely yeah, sticking up a bit lovely stuff so I've just ordered some nice replacements, I'm going for Panasonic's this time but anyway, that's about concluded for this video <laughs> yes, so there you go just uh, watch out if you buy these things. Make sure you wear thick rubber gloves when you undo them all. Mm.